Hi guys, and welcome back to anti Matter Dimensions. So look how many Eternity Points we have, over a hundred billion. So I can't quite get one of these, unfortunately. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get three Time Theorems, and you'll see why in a minute. I'll buy this just for now, and then I'll get some Time Dimensions. Um, like some cheap ones, and then I get one more. And then I will... Just save these, and I'll respect my time studies, and I will um just go down the normal way. Um, I guess I'll just go like this, and then I can afford this study ten thousand times multiplier on all time dimensions, and that gets me the infinite time achievement for getting three hundred eight tick speed upgrades from time dimensions. So now I have all of the first 10 rows of achievements. I keep telling you this row doesn't exist. You'll understand it completely um, a little bit later on. We're getting closer to that point. Um, so, we'll do some of these achievements a little bit later. I'm looking at these and it looks like, yeah, they're not really possible yet, but they'll be possible soon. So, um, I'm going to just, I'm going to do a long run for time theorems. So I'm going to respect and then turn this on, get these studies, because why not? And then do 10 quick eternities. Oh, and I'm going to turn this on and set it to 1. And let's just do, there we go, that's like 2 seconds, so. In a little bit, I should have my 10 quick eternities and... Then once the multiplier from study 121, I think, becomes 50 times, we'll be good. So, um, I think that now we're good, so I'm going to turn this off. And let's check, this is 50 times, yeah. So I'm going to go like this, like this, and then a little active. And... I'm so used to filling in all of these, but I can't yet. Um, I'm going to turn off my big crunch auto buyer so I can crunch manually, and I'm going to hold R to get my replicated... I think I accidentally clicked E. Whatever. It's okay. Actually, wait a minute. I think I might be able to get this achievement, Eternity with only one infinity. Let me do that real quick. Wait, I... I just have to time it right. Let's do this. Ah. What if I turn off my dimension boosts? And then try. What if I... S I have an I another idea. I'll set this to 4.9 seconds. And I'll also respect out of... Um this path so that I don't get more infinity stat. It's sort of like the other achievement like it. So I'm gonna go like this. Like um this. It doesn't matter that it's one. And then I'm gonna get that. And let's let's just turn this on and set it to one. Oh no. Maybe I need to turn this on. Maybe I'll just set it to x times last crunch, 1.80, 308, and then it'll just think that that's how many infinity points it needs to get. Um, actually I'll set it to a bit less, I'll set it to like 293 because we get a quadrillion times as many from here. So, um, I think I'll just... Actually, I'll set it to a bit less. I'll set it to, like, E260. No, not that, 260. Hey, here we go. Uh, it looks like it's too hard. Whatever. Um, I will... I thought I could do it, because I could get, like, E300 infinity points on my first crunch, but I guess I was wrong. Um... Wait, I realized 
I need to have my big crunch auto buyer off. Um. Then I have to go down. I think though to do quick eternities, you have to go infinity dimensions and active. Um. Okay, I need to eternity first. Okay, here we go. It's, it's just going up too slowly. Wait, what's happening now? Why is it slow? It shouldn't be. Okay, it is my first infinity, but still. Okay, I shouldn't be going for this achievement. I can't do it. Let's go back to a normal build. And then we'll go for that achievement later. Ah, oh, I need to get that to 50 times. So annoying. Whatever. Um. So I'll do my 10 quick eternities now. I'm sorry about that. And Oh, I have to turn my crunch auto buyer back on. There we go. I now have to turn my turn the auto buyers. Like I'm asleep. Come on. Let's do 10 quick eternities. And here we go. I'm just waiting. We have three. This is going to be four. We have to do another six. Actually, no, we have to only, we only have to do five. Four. We have to do four more, three more. And then two more. And then um, one more. Here we go. And then we can finally turn this off and get and this and then get our studies. Finally. Here we go. And I'm going to go to my Replicanti. And I'm going to hold R once I have like a, a good amount of infinity points. So like this is a good amount. And I can get 19 replicated galaxies, but we were able to get like 33 before. So we can probably get a lot more infinity points here. And our time dimensions are much more powerful, so that should be even better. Um, so yeah, time dimensions are pretty good. They don't feel that good, but they are. I know it's weird, but it's just how it is. There we go, 19 replicate Catholics. Oh, no. I'm just, there we go, that's how many infinity points I would have got. So let's get 24 replicated galaxies again, and then we will um, crunch. And I might even check here to make sure that I'm not close to another reset. Um, here we go. Um, so we need 19, we're there. Oh, we can get 20, 21. Wow, I'm, I can get so many. I didn't know that. Okay. I'm going to crunch now. And it looks like I can get 28. So, yeah. And also... Wait, I wasn't going to say anything, actually. But... um. So the next thing we're saving up for is this. These are... This one is a tiny bit better than this, so we're going to get this one. And then we're going to get this one, and we're going to fill in this one and these four um, later on in any order. And then, and also once we get this one, we're going to switch to the... So basically we're going to get this one, then this one. And then when we can afford this one, we're going to switch the time dimensions path and the idle path. And we're just going to use that for like forever. And we're going to fill this one in and then this one in later. 
you'll see this in practice. Okay, I should really crunch. Here we go. So we need E1,900 infinity points and E1, um, E360,000 antimatter for the next time theorem. And we need seven theorems for the next time study. Here we go. Um, so, so I can get 30 replicated galaxies. And we're going to get to the point where our replicate chance is maxed, which is cool. And here we go. E1700. E1900 seems doable. Um, so we can get 31 replicated galaxies. And then um, we'll crunch again. And then hopefully we'll have a big jump in our infinity points. And then here we go, here we go. E1700 and no, E1800 actually. Um, so we can get 33 replicated galaxies now. And we'll be getting close to these next two time theorems. Seems surprisingly slow, because we need seven time theorems for the next study. Who knows, maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get better. Because, I mean, we don't, we're not tapping out at this point. We're still going strong. Okay, we need E1875 for another replicated galaxies, and in fact, we're there already. So we can get 34. And then, um, we need E2010. So the replicated candy galaxy cost accelerates a lot. Um, and there's even more scaling at 100, but it won't, like, tell you. You'll just notice. And also, um, here we go. Once we get 33, no, not 33, 34, we'll crunch and we'll be able to get E1900 infinity points. And I also got another time theorem there. Here we go. E1930. I don't want to buy this because it's expensive, but I guess I will just because I can and there's nothing else to buy. So I'm going to get that, and then that will help even more. And once I get four more time theorems, I can afford this study. Um, we need 34 time theorems. No, not time theorems. Replicanti galaxies. There's a lot of stuff in this game, okay? Um, and hopefully we'll reach E380,000. We're getting close to E400,000. Each new 100,000 is crazy. Okay, E1980. So we should be able to get here pretty soon. And here. Maybe it's not as slow as I thought. And this time study actually helps production because the multiplier here decays and we'll have less time to decay if we only need to get half as many replicanti galaxies. So, here we go. We need 34. And, um, look at our infinity points. It's gonna go up to, like, E2000. There we go. And that's E2010, so we can now get 36 replicated galaxies. I'll get another time theorem and buy this. So the next infinity will keep half of our replicated galaxies. Once we have two more time theorems, we can buy this. So, um... Here we go. I'm gonna get 36, and it's gonna give us a big jump on our infinity points. And look how much I can eternity for. You're always getting eternity for a lot more during these active runs because the replicanti galaxies are slightly better. Of course, um, once you get this, um, you will be able to use this path all the time and you won't have to worry about this difference here, 40%, 50% anymore. But the difference isn't that big until then. So it sort of works out. Okay, so we keep half of our replicanti galaxies, so getting them back will be faster. And we need 36. I don't think we're going to get another one, but we might. Actually, no, we won't. 
But I'm close to E400,000. In fact, I'm there, so... Um... There we go. So it was a bit faster to get a Replicandy Galaxies, and once we get another Time Theorem, which we can probably push to, I'm gonna buy this, and it's gonna be crazy. I don't know how crazy it'll be, but it'll help. For sure. So, E2086. So, we're getting close to E2100. And, um... Uh, yeah. So, then we're gonna buy another time theorem. And then... Um... Yeah, we got there, actually. So, you can buy another time theorem, and then I'm gonna... Respect, because I don't think there's any point keeping going. And then we're going to get more eternity points. And then look at this. I'm going to get this time study. Time study 161. 1 e 616 times multiplier on all normal dimensions. So now, let's see. Um. Oh yeah, i got to turn this on, but... I'm going to turn it and let's see how many eternity points per minute I can get. So it's going up. And it's going to keep going up, actually. It feels like we just got a five times this upgrade. Let's see if it goes up again. No, it doesn't look like it. So maybe it looks like 700 million is good. We were turning for more before this is happening. I'm, maybe it's because I'm not using this study. Um, but the important things are eternity points per minute. It looks like we're getting like two billions instead of one, so that helped a little bit, and so, um, yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.